In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure Firebase for your BuddyBoss app. Firebase is required during the build process and is used as a service to send push notifications to your iOS and Android apps. So let's get started by going to the console by clicking go to console and signing in with your Google email. I'll be back when I'm in. All right, so now we're in the console, we can create a project for our app. So let's do that by clicking create a project and entering a name for our project. And click continue. Now, if you wanna enable Google Analytics for your app, just make sure that this toggle is enabled and click continue. If you enabled Google Analytics in step two, you can select your account here or select default account for Firebase and click create a project. Now our project's gonna be created and I'll be back when mine's done. All right, we're in our Firebase project. Our next step is to create a Firebase app for each type of build we want to do in the BuddyBoss app plugin. I want to set up release and test builds for my iOS and Android apps. That means I'm going to create four Firebase apps and add a config for each of those into the BuddyBoss app plugin. Let's get started with iOS by clicking iOS here. And now we need to enter the iOS bundle ID. This is on the BuddyBoss app plugin, so let's go there to get it. Here I am in the configure section under iOS settings and I'm gonna scroll down to find the test app bundle ID. This is the one I wanna put in on Firebase, so let's go back there and do it now. Okay, now register app. And download the config file. So now all we have to do is go back to our Buddy Boss app plugin and upload this file. So click on Google Firebase and find your iOS test app configuration file uploader right here. Click that and choose file and it should be in your downloads. So choose this and click upload. All right, now save your changes. And you can see here our Firebase config file is uploaded. It's important to note that if you change your bundle ID in iOS settings, you need to repeat this process, adding an app in Firebase and uploading the config file here. Now to configure your iOS release app, you'll follow the same steps we just covered, except you'll register an app in Firebase with your release bundle ID found in iOS settings. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up your Android app. Let's head over to Android settings to get our application ID. Scrolling down, we can see your application ID under app information. Notice that your test application ID is the same as your release ID, except with dot test added to the end. Now I'm gonna start with my test app, but setting up the release is the same, just using this ID. So copy your ID and head back over to Firebase. Click add app and select Android. Now paste your bundle ID and click register app. and download this file. All right, back over to the BuddyBoss app plugin, scrolling up to find Google Firebase. And I'm setting up my test app, so I'm gonna upload this in the Android test app configuration file section. Choose file. It's the Google services JSON for Android. Click open and save changes. All right, my Android test app is configured. Go ahead and do the same for your Android release app using your release application ID. And I'll move on to setting up your Google Firebase server key. Your server key is found on Firebase, so let's head back over to the console. Now click on the gear icon here and project settings. Now click on cloud messaging. And you can see your server key right here. Go ahead and copy it back to the BuddyBoss app plugin and paste it right here. There we go. Now just save your changes. Awesome. Now your BuddyBoss app plugin can communicate 
with your Firebase project. Let's move on to the last step to configure iOS push notifications. For this, we need to go to our Apple developer account and create an APNS key. I have mine open in a tab right here. And that's developer.apple.com. Once you're here, click on account and then certificates, identifiers, and profiles and click on keys. Okay, let's create a new key by clicking the plus icon and register a key. Now select Apple push notification service and continue. Go ahead and register that and download it and keep it safe. You can't re-download this later. Now head back over to the Firebase console and let's upload this key. Okay, I'm in cloud messaging. I got here by clicking the gear icon, project settings and cloud messaging. And we can scroll down to find our apps. Here's our iOS app. And we're gonna upload that APNS key right here. Click upload. Browse. Here's the auth key, so we can open that. The key ID is over on the developer portal right here. Let's copy that, put that here. And our team ID can be seen right here. So let's copy that and head back over to the Firebase console. Paste that here and upload. All right, those are the steps to configure Firebase and remember, for these changes to take effect, you need to create new builds. Thanks for watching.